Thanks, Jeff. So very excited to announce today our incoming freshmen for the 2018 season. Um, very lucky to have three young ladies that'll be joining our program. Um, and very, very honored to be able to, to share a little bit about them today. Um, all three, all three girls throughout this process have stayed committed to our program and have um, really taken on and, and and made it their own what bison volleyball is about. And very honored to be to be able to introduce them today. So first, I have uh, Callie Hagerly is a local West Fargo kid. Um, comes from a highly athletic background. Her dad is a former football player here at NDSU. Um, mom was a former track athlete here at NDSU a um, number of years ago. And overall, just the type of kid that is um, skill-wise is going to definitely help our, help our program offensively, um, puts up the numbers in the front row with her setting, with her ability to attack. And what she's, what she's going to be able to do for us is something I'm really excited about, and I know our kids um, have expressed that as well. And we've been able to work with her the last couple of years, um, coming to camps and coming to clinics, and so very, very lucky to be able to have Callie join our program. Um, next individual we have is Allie Murphy. is coming out of Egan, Minnesota. Comes from a very competitive program. Um, her club season uh, plays with a very competitive club and has um, done some really good things as, as far as um, achieving some successes throughout those processes. Um, Egan's high level team in class A or class AAA in Minnesota and her team is going back to the state tournament this coming year, so she's getting prepared for that this weekend. And um, wish her team, wish her and her team the best of luck. Um, and third, we kind of we have Kristen Tidd, who is a middle coming out coming out of Wisconsin, um, six one middle. Her dad is a former football player as well for the NDSU Bison and. Uh, one thing with with even her and with all of our kids is their excitement about the uh, volleyball program and Bison athletics as a whole is says a lot about who they are and what they want to achieve in their uh, collegiate career. And so with all of them and Kirsten especially, very excited to to add that Bison pride to what it is we're trying to do with our program and continue to build our culture and build our program in the direction we want to we want to go. Um, Kirsten does some really good things for her high school, led her teams in, in blocks and, and contributed as far as attacking goes with some kills. And I think she'll, she'll add to our program tremendously and um, be help us, help us to move in the right direction. So I guess kind of follow up with that. Is there any questions that you guys have? go for you just from stepping in, being named interim. How did that process all go? And I know you mentioned, you know, some camp experience with some, but but how did that really all go for you this year? You know, for me, stepping into the recruiting process, um, two of our kids at that point were already, had already committed to our program. And through this transition, they were still fully committed, not knowing what, what was going to happen um, with our program and moving forward. And so even that, you know, it says a lot about who they are and, and their commitment to not just volleyball, but Bison athletics as a whole. Um, and so they've, they've invested their time. They've, they've known what they want to get out of their college experience and that being at NDSU. And I think that says that that's a huge tribute to what they um, want to do kind of moving forward within their careers. Jen, was there any hesitation with Callie after she transferred from Cheyenne to West Fargo? The backstory there, what, how did that involve you, or how much were you involved in that? Honestly, not involved at all. Um, Callie, I've known for quite a few years, and I've had the pleasure to work with her um, through camps and through clinics, um, kind of through her through her um, career, her young uh, young career, but. She's the type of kid that, regardless of her situation, I think she's she's put a name for herself as far as what she's able to do. And, you know, she handled her situation, and that was her situation that she had to deal with. Um, but kind of moving on, and that's what we're doing as a program, too, with, with adding her, is we're very excited to have her and um, how she conducts herself, how she holds herself, the level to, to which she plays, and, and her attitude is, is something that I think embodies what NDSU Athletics is about, and very happy to be able to welcome her. In class is always an important one. What's it mean to you that um, these young women are buying into this program, and you as a head coach? You know, it says a lot about what our program's trying to do and, and who we have. And, you know, I'm very excited. It's the three athletes that we have coming in, three young females, is 
they're going to do some great things with NDSU, and I'm excited just to be given the opportunity to, con to continue to work with them. Kind of before we go to uh, leading into to what we have going on, I know it's a big recruiting time for us, but we're also in the home stretch of, of our season and going into our last regular season weekend um, at Western and Omaha, it's going to be pretty tough. And we got to make sure we handle business and, and kind of continue to prepare ourselves, not just with our recruiting class, but kind of with our season as well. And hopefully we're able to end with that on a positive note.